I was going to stop by and drop off one of my flyers here for you. I think I left a note up there, but we cut grass. Yeah, so actually, I, my, my brother is the, is the owner of the place. I'm is here he? helping him. Uh, man, crazy how fast this stuff grows. Simply around that side if you want to come All right, along. yeah, I'll go over and talk to him. And yeah. He's, it looks like he started to cut here. Yeah, <laughs> made a path. Yeah, so I saw the grass was kind of high, and I figured we could cut this for you. Me and my uh, partner Travis here, he's he's out doing a yard right now, but we can come back around 5 o'clock if that's good for you. I saw it's super high. I just got to do it today. So you got, did you get any back? fines or anything like that or from code? No, push? no good. Didn't, didn't, not yet, but I bet you they would have. So. Yeah, it's got to be done. So My wife got sick, man. I just I couldn't leave. I had to take care of her, so first yeah. opportunity I've had to come back. Other than that, that's it. We got water here. Yeah, it looks like you started to made a path through here, so... So we um, could walk. Yeah. That took like six trips. <laughs> oh, man. So, man it's just it's so high. And uh, I know you do it for free, but I don't mind giving you some money. No, we don't take any tips, nothing like that. We make the money off of YouTube. Thanks again, Mark. I'll You're welcome. Five, man. All right, I'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome back. We got a good one for you. Look at these drone photos right here. This yard's been overgrown for probably six months to a year. Now the owner bought this place. He decided he wanted to get this here and fix it up and live in. And something happened with his wife. She got sick and they finally called back and said they were going to be doing some work on the house. Well, it turns out they were pressure washing the same day we were mowing. But look at this yard. It's overgrown. This left side over here is so overgrown. The rain trees have taken over and it's like a jungle in here. As you guys know, Travis is out working right now. He's on his way over here, and I got here ahead of time to trim up some of these bushes and trees. Let's take a watch. The owner wanted everything gone, but there's still a good amount of landscaping in here that's hidden behind these trees. Many of you are probably wondering why I don't use power tools. Well, I can get in here really close without damaging everything and work around it really good. And these little shears I've got, they're probably the best things I've ever found. They offer a lot of torque and you can cut things up to about an inch and a half to two inches thick. I was expecting to find a snake in them bushes. Even the front planter was grown up. There was a tree here before, and it's grown into the tongue of this mobile home, and all the little suckers are popping up trying to still survive. Travis finally shows up, and we do our walk around. You've been working all day? Yeah. It's jungle. What do you think? Looks good. I cut all the branches down. We just have to cut a spot out here and maybe a little section. And then move them around and then we can get cutting. See anything crazy in the grass? There's some electrical. This is the owner here. This is Travis. They do the introductions and he cuts me a little spot out here so I can put all my trimmings.
time we started working, neighbors were coming out, spectating and checking everything out. I'm just standing down there with a shovel in my hand, trying to stay still so this time lapse looks good. We bag a lot of this stuff here because there's rocks in it and other debris. I think Travis makes a good bag man. Maybe one of these days we'll invest in a trash can. But we change them out so much, it's kind of useless. Look how much he carries. He carries more limbs than he weighs. Travis generally has to mow a yard three times. He cuts it one direction, then he'll blow it, and then switch it over to another direction. That way we get all the little stragglers that are left over. So we didn't slow the homeowners up. They're actually pressure washing, and on that right side of the house, the grass is soaking wet, so we have to wait. This was the jungle up here. Look at all this. There's some curbing under here, and it's about to be uncovered. Now that vine you see on the wall, we were going to take it down, but the owner came in and he grabbed it down before we could get to it.
left side you see over there, the owners are over the left side that you see over here, the owners are working on pressure washing over there. And that grass is getting super wet, so we're saving that one for last. A lot of times in the cracks we'll come across this pesky grass that grows up. Watch what Travis does here and just chews it all up. That stuff doesn't have a chance. fly the drone, their little pups saying hi. And he's coming after it. Look out. I know. <laughs> and we've got one more pass with the mower to do. And I talk about we like I run that thing. I was the only one that runs that mower. Maybe one of these days I'm gonna graduate. I'll get promoted to mow man. This is already looking so good, but we've got that right hand section now to do. But before that, Travis is going to make a couple passes here. He does his perimeter and then he starts working on that different pattern. Well, this is the spot we've been dreading over here. It's soaking wet and the grass has been walked on so we're gonna have some trouble. And this is where I got dirty. I wasn't dirty till I got over here. And I wore shorts because I thought it was gonna be super hot today. It's like weed whacking water.
I want y'all to watch the fancy feet that Travis has when he does the blowing out here. Watch this. It's like he's doing a two-step or something like that. Check it out. finally got this thing done and this yard's now manageable. I don't know if I told you, this one came in, I drove by it the other day, and it was just a mess. No one was here. Lady across the street said, he usually comes by once a week or once every couple of months. Uh, he just bought the house and he's fixing up to live in it. And he just called me today and was like, hey, I, I think I can have you guys come cut the grass if it's really free. I was like, yeah, it's free. He's out here pressure washing. That's the only thing. We got some wet grass out here when we're mowing, so it takes a little bit of extra stuff in my I mean it, this stuff isn't usually like that I should have wore pants huh pants are the way to go I Keeps thought it was a lot cleaner I thought it was going to be like 100 degrees though it since that cloud you know when the rain came over it, it's been decent outside yeah that's it yeah this one's a good one this whole neighborhood unfortunately is getting all the sidewalks replaced even though we did a good job uh you did a good job edging right there they're going to be tearing these sidewalks up in a couple of days but you can see the house again. You took away a lot of the a lot of that overgrowth on the edge of the house and cleaned it up a lot. Came through and cut it. It was pretty thick. I mean, I what probably 24 inches in spots. Yeah, it was at least that. I when I walked through it and uh, did my first walk through, I couldn't see anything on the ground. I was like hoping there was no stumps or anything. There was one over there I picked up. That was about it. But man, Jordan's not here. He, no. <laughs> he, he could have been pressure washing. He could have been pressure washing, yeah. but. I think we got another job for him to do if he wants to come out again. He's, we're going to get him out here. We're going to work him. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to see Jordan back out there, get a couple likes down there. Leave a comment for him. We need Jordan. Real quality outdoor services. Well, this one looks a lot better. You guys want to take a look at the before and afters. We'll do that. You want to do one more in the morning? In the morning? Let's do it. What time? Feeling up to it. Early, 7 o'clock. 7 a.m. As soon as the noise ordinance is lifted. The next video that you guys see, the woman that we found this yard, her backyard is kind of high back there. The city find her, not find her, but added on $200 to her utility bill and came and cut the grass. Really? And it wasn't that bad, but her backyard needs some, some trimming. Uh, her mower's broke, oh. and we also have, they, she has some string there, so maybe she can, we can do some there, take a couple bolts off and wrap that line around so she can get her mower. Yeah, help her out with that, you know, whatever we can do while we're here. I don't know why, how we find these, but there's some really good ones. Yeah, I mean, everything's growing. It's Florida in the summertime. Yeah, tomorrow this stuff will be back up. It'll be standing up tall and it'll be needing to cut again, probably. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to see the next one here. We'll see if we can get Jordan out there. Uh, Real quality outdoor services. I did it. You did it. I Good did job. It. First take. We'll get him out here again. Check his channel out. His in the link in the description on this video and the one before. Travis and I are out of here. I think we're going to clean up and check out these before and afters. I think it's really good. These guys are super happy. We'll talk to them and see what they say. I hope you appreciate this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this one here, subscribe. It helps us get more yards and supports what we're doing. We also made a little bit of merch if you want to get some of that and also set up a membership. Being able to help everybody is very satisfying. So if you like these videos, feel free to share it. Hit that thumbs up button, even that bell button to get notified when we post another video. We got, we're gonna head out here and get the next one. We gotta get ready for one at 7 a.m., but uh, hopefully that gives you a jump start and gets this thing going again. Goodness, man. Oh. You guys are a blessing. Well, thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> I mean, it's a really good video for you. Yeah. You know, so I'm really, really glad you did it. Because that's what I was gonna do. And I ended up doing a whole bunch of other stuff inside, so. Yeah. It worked out real, real well. Thank you so much. You're welcome, man. No, thank you thank so much, you. sir. Yeah, we got, I went through there, thank you. I went through there and uh, trimmed as much as I can over there in that spot. There's still some good, um, uh, like your landscaping over there, behind the, the behind the uh, 
the little pavers, there's still yeah. some good stuff back there. So I didn't mm -hmm. want to just burn it all up. I looked at it and I was like, man, this stuff is actually, you, you just rake it a little bit and come out there and, and clean that stuff up. That stuff will be just like a nice little planter. Yeah. Um, but we got most of those rain trees out of there. Those are the, the sticky and annoying ones. Yeah. But other than that, this has got, we got the grass out of here. We got this growing again. Once you guys pressure wash this, it'll look good. 